Hello and welcome back to Fable The Lost Chapters with yours truly Lord and Zinger the Mad. Hi Lord of Flows, it's Horrible Justice, Biffing, Level 22 Boxes, Madman, Master Pod, Sanity, and all around neutral guy. Excellent, now it's time to continue with school. So don't expect a lot of <laughs> commentary again. Though I am about to have more assistance apparently. Oh well. Ooh, do you have a donation there, hero? Yes, yes I do. Volume 2 of the Creatures of Albion could prove useful in our biology lessons. Are we really going in that order? Okay, sure. Thank Here. you, Hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. <clears throat> now, let us turn to Volume 2 of the Creatures of Albion. Trolls are an ancient race formed from the rock and soil in which they were born. They have the strength of many men and can withstand all but the mightiest of blows. Get too close and they will jump onto the ground with such force that the shock waves can shatter a man's bones. But trolls are also slow lumbering creatures and rarely move. So, if ever you see one, your best hope is to run away. If you're lucky, you won't be crushed to death by the boulders they throw after you. Well, that was a nice lesson, but at least I finally got the confirmation that they are called trolls. Not columns or anything like that. Hi. Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? I do have. You spare the northern wastes. Children could stand to learn a little more geography. Of course. Here. Yeah. Thank you, Hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Do any of you know what lies beyond the nine seas? Yes? The northern wastes. Well done, Sue. Legends say that Jack of Blades first appeared there, and that it was the home of a mighty empire. Today, its ancient cities are buried deep beneath the ice. But there are still some who believe the Empire will rise again, and that the people of the Northern Wastes will awaken when Albion is united once more. I must assume that the Empire was the one ruled by the Queen of Blades, the Knight of Blades, and Jack of Blades. The Jack even, probably. Okay, here. Do you have a donation there, hero? Yes. Taylor's tragedy would be perfect for our after-school drama society. All right, here you go. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. What strange land is this to which the storm my body has delivered? Surely heaven it is, and I be dead. For as in a dream I saw the ship torn From neath me by the waves and felt death's fell kiss But hush now, who comes here? Truly my eyes doth deceive me, for I thought I saw Some strange thing move amongst the wreck by the shore Now I know that I'd be really dead for in this fair land do angles tread. That's angels, Billy, not angles. <laughs> angles. Oh well, here. Oh, do you have a donation there, hero? Yes. Right, that's the Creatures of Albion, Volume 1. A perfect way to learn natural sciences. So we are going in reverse in that. At least that's the last one. Yes. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Today, we'll be studying Volume 1 of The Creatures of Albion. Now, who here knows what screamers are? I don't. <laughs> I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story, and you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream 
can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. Either way, if you ever see one, you'll soon end up like them. Screaming. All right, they were later. They were later. Maybe. Maybe. Were they? Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? I cannot remember what they look like. What the screamers look like? The Balverine Slayer. <laughs> My father used to read Scarlet Robe's adventures to me every night. <laughs> Here you go. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Belverines are the fiercest creatures in Albion. But there was once a brave young girl for whom they held no fear. One day, a beast attacked Not Old Glade, where she lived. The villagers all ran away until she alone stood to face it. The creature was twice her size, and she fought its teeth and claws armed only with a stake. By the time the warriors arrived, the beast lay dead at the girl's feet, and her dress was soaked with its blood. From that day forth, she was known to all as Scarlet Robe. As she grew older, she became a great hero driving the evil Balverines from much of Albion and competing in the Witchwood Arena. Yay! Alright. Oh. Any books for us today, hero? Well, there's The Repentant Alchemist, but I, I'm not sure it's really suitable reading for children. Don't worry about it. All right then. I'll give it a try. It's fine. Five and twenty years have I tended this inn, not knowing my wife was living in sin. For while I served the townsfolk ale by day, at night my wife served them in another way. But soon they'll regret leading her astray. When next they sip my ale, it will be their lives that pay. He who hath slept with my love will die at its taste. Then I shall see if any among them can call themselves chaste. Uh, thank you, Billy. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go to school. So. I'm back the next day. I'm gonna be a Have a pleasant visit, sir. Thank you. It let me in. Uh, uh, I can do this. I'm going inside the school. Come on. You can succeed. Come on. There we go. Hello, time for another class. For us today, hero? Oh yes. My. The Windbreaker rule book. Avo alone knows what would happen if the children got hold of this. So that's why you're going to dish it. I'll give it a try. Today we will be reading from the Windbreaker rule book. Perhaps the gentleman who gave us this book could demonstrate the uh, benefits of its teachings himself. <laughs> yes. I see. Well, that was most edifying. But I really don't... Oh, dear Lord. Something must have crawled up inside him and died. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Please, mind your language in front of the children. Oh dear, I knew this was a mistake. Oh well, next lesson. Oh, do you have a donation there, hero? 
I do. Eyes of a killer? Yes, well, uh, strictly speaking, we try not to raise any murderers in our school. Uh, yes! Hooray! Well... All right, then. I'll give it a try. This is getting the dark hat, right? Now, I really hope none of you follow the teachings of this book, uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, you should learn to recognize the signs of evil. There are many ways a person can instill fear in others, such as covering one's body in tattoos and wearing dark clothes. But a truly scary person is able to express his evilness through actions alone. Let's see how this works. A hero. Would you regale us with an evil sneer, perhaps? Yeah. Uh, yes, <laughs> very effective. That's it, look at all. Uh, now, uh, according to this book, uh, you can also make yourself scary by performing terrible crimes, such as uh, killing innocents. Uh, but um, I, I, I think we'll leave that chapter for uh, another day. <laughs> now then, class, let's all say thank you to the nice hero. Yeah! yeah. Ah, hello again. Yeah. You found any interesting reading material? Yes. I'm sure the tale of Twin Blade is quite uh, interesting, uh, but uh, I'm not sure a bandit is a good role model for our pupils, though. Well, let's skip the bandit part and just tell about tell them about the part when he was still a hero. This should work. Well, if you think that's wise, hero. You're not going to obey me, are you? Twinblade was once a great hero. A giant of a man, his swords were feared throughout Albion. But at the height of his fame, he abandoned the guild, deciding he had no need to earn gold through quests. He could simply take it. And so he left for the woods and became a bandit. Over the years, he united the feuding bandit clans until he became their king, he built a vast fortified camp hidden near Oakvale and plundered the passing traders as he desired. He was as renowned and feared as he ever was, and now had no guild constraints to hold him back. Sir, what happened to Twinblade? The hero you see before you killed him in a duel. The once mighty bandit begged for his life, but no mercy was shown. Too much banditry. You cannot give mercy to that. Ah, hello again. You found any interesting reading material? Possibly. Scorm's teeth. That's the Guild of Zeros. I thought your guild had every copy of the book burned, <laughs> along with its author. Let's do it. All right, then. I'll give it a try. The Journal of Bloody Nose. Zero in training. Day 14. This week, we've been developing our stealth skills by playing hide-and-seek. Knowing how to run and hide from your enemies is an important skill for any Zero, says Days. He seems to be a master of the art. It took us all day to find him, after he teleported away. Eventually, we heard his cries and found him wedged inside a hollow tree in the Academy Woods. He wasn't at all happy that it took us so long to find him, but he decided to test our hiding skills next. We must be really good at it, because we've been out here in the woods for two days now, and he still hasn't found us. <laughs> That stays for you. I mean, ah, yes, stays. Hello again. You found any interesting reading material? Maybe. Oh, what's this? <laughs> the sock method? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so, well, uh, perhaps when they're uh, a little older, don't you think? <laughs> nope. Well, if you think that's wise, hero. Nope. Ah, let's turn to the sock method and see how we can. Uh, 
make you sexier in ten days. This hero Yay. seems to have truly mastered the book's teachings. Maybe he could show us what he's learned from it. Come on. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Enough of that, hero. And that brings today's lesson to a close. <laughs> Definitely. Come on. I won't tell. Hmm, do you have a donation there, hero? Come on. Uh, don't you think my students are a little too young to learn about castration? Ah, younger people have been castrated. What? Any books for us today, hero? Yes. The Book of Spells. <laughs> this isn't some potty school for wizards, you know. Are you sure? I'm afraid school's closed at the moment. Oh well, that kind of puts an end to what I can currently make then. Which is a good thing, because that means I can do other things now. Yes. But I do need more books. I should probably look into buying some from stores and such, in case I have missed some from them there. There's also the fact that I haven't actually looted the houses in Oakland. There may be more books there. But for now, let me try and see how much I can level up my charity right now. And let's see, let's see, let's see. There is some strength. Oh! Max that out. Then it's just health remaining. I should probably be able to do that silly thingy now. Divine Fury, I can upgrade that. Let's do that. Yes. And other than that, I think I can just upgrade the level 1 spells, can't I? Yeah, that's the case. Alright, what did I want? I said something. Ah, yeah. I can do that. I once again actually forgot what I meant. But I'm going to the Temple of Avo again to pull out the sword. Because that's something I should be able to do now, since I have maxed out my physique. Which is excellent. That will just mean I will be putting points into magic. Because I don't really need to upgrade my skill stuff anymore. Because there isn't really much in the ways of shopping I must do, and I already got the bow thingy, demon door. Which was apparently something I did not need to do like that. Oh wait. Come on, come over here. What's this? You cannot just go around terrorizing the traders. They're my friends. Buddies. They're the best of buddies. It's probably best to dodge that, really. Come on, fall over and die. Yes, like that. Good job. Alright, so let's rush into the Temple of Avo. I don't think there are any regions between this and the other. There shouldn't be. It should be just over there. Worshipfulness. Just over here. That indeed appears to be right. Alright, let's get the sword. I don't remember if it's better than the hammer. Because if it is, I'm going to take it, take it, and use it oh, yeah. for myself. Great stuff! Great stuff! Whoa! Come on, get out! Hey, it's my turn. Yeah. Hello. Yo. Stop it! It's my turn. Yes, excellent. There we go. Come on, lay your hands on it. Let's see what the hero can do. Absolutely nothing. Oh, you can pull it out. Wow, you're as strong as a giant. Wait until the chief hears about this. 
Uh, and it automatically equipped it. Okay, let's see if it's actually better than the hammer or not. Melee weapons. Oh, I have such nice weapons here. The Harbinger, 198. While this is 270. And it gives me more experience and still has the Harbinger stuff. I mean, the piercing stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna try the sword for a while. But now, it is time to not run out of the ring like a bloody idiot that I was the last time. I can do that, probably. At least I can give it a try. Come on. I am the chief of Knothole Glade. I am the best fighter too. Only the hardest warriors may enter. Warriors such as yourself. Will you allow me to exercise my fists upon your face? If you want to engage in brutal combat, you'll need 50 gold. The winner takes home the pot of gold. You can lose by taking too many hits or stepping out of the ring. You might be a powerful hero, but this is a contest of skill. Our punches may not hurt you much, but they still... Apparently my hard drive had filled itself. But I cleared out some of the old footage, so it's now okay. I can continue recording. Oh, wait, no flourish. Thought I had the flourish. Come on, get inside the ring. There we go. Blood stains on the dirt. La 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 la. There's blood stains on the dirt. La 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 la. Yes. Let's stay in the ground with your blood. Come on, get over here. You need to punch your face. There we go. I am being more careful this time, so maybe, maybe, just, just maybe, I will not fail. Maybe. A little. I'll probably fail. Because that... Don't be fooled by the chieftain's spear belly. He is quite a strong fighter. When I say he's quite a strong fighter, I mean he can back a punch. Seriously, he can back a fucking punch. Yeah, I'll get back. I'll get back. See, back in the ring. No problem. Hey! Boo! Hey! Boo! Alright. Get some butt kickery done here. Stop blocking, you silly bugger. And I'll start blocking too. No, I won't. I'll just punch you. And you will provide the kick if necessary. Wait! Everyone! Be calm, there are guards. Yeah. Except no, the guards don't care because they have been primed by the chief because the chief is the ringer, oh, the leader of this fighting ring. Oh, it's up to me then. Oh god, right. I remember f failing this fight so many times, it's not even funny. But of course, I was lower level when I did that. that. I wasn't that good at this. Is. I also know how to. Oh, puff. yeah, he can still take me out in two hits. So that's an issue. It's a contest of skill, but he has an unfair advantage. This I get. I've got this back now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this shit. No, we can't. Get out. Get in the ring. I mean, not out. That is close. I'm trying. It's a boss fight, goddammit. Ooh. That was too close. Whoop. Come on. Just a couple more hits. Probably, I hope. Should be too long now. Come on! 
Please don't win this. This fight needs to be mine. Whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> it is certainly in my advantage there because that guy was about to punch me out and it would have only taken one punch. I know. Come on. <laughs> How long is this going to take? Yeah, and you shouldn't take 200 hits to take out. Well, you can take me out in two, you know? Oh, there we go. Finally. Yes. I'm a pile of crates. Because I'm a master boxer, you see? Yep. It takes a tough fighter to beat me. You earned this prize. What is this what is the prize? Being able to stand on boxes? This fight is trophy. Oh yeah, that's an option. Good. Anyway. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.